Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, check out the description box as always. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So here you go. Uh, we pretty much finished our priority animation. Now the sad thing is we're not going to be able to use this sprite sheet like I'm saying for the game itself because we're going to move in, we're going to be moving up and down. And to attack up and down, this character doesn't have any animation like that. It's only to left and right. But for the concept of it, it's it's okay. So we'll be able to switch this out with some other sprite sheet that I make. And we'll be able to use that. Uh, probably we're going to use some classic, you know, shitty ass, uh, regular 2D RPG sprite. Some bullshit. I would love to have something cool, but I'm not an artist, so sadly I can't use that. But anyway, b uh, before I start talking too much shit, um, we gotta make sure that the character is in line with the um, with the attack, basically. So when I, when I attack right now, what happens is the character is outside, right? And I want to put him in the box, at least while I attack, so... That will be a little easier for me, okay? So, what's going to happen is if we're attacking, I'm going to set the origin and I'm going to set all that crap in here to make sure that it is in the correct origin and stuff like that, depending on the scale. And another thing I noticed is that we don't want to change the scale and the origin and everything all the time while we're moving. Only once if we're facing the other direction, we'll start facing the other one before we start walking. So to do that, I'm just going to make a simple if statement. This sprite.getScale.x, if it is uh, less than 0.f, I'll set it to 1. Okay, so we'll flip it. Basically, we'll flip it. We'll make some helper function functions for this uh, later to flip it. But for now, we'll just do it right here. And otherwise, we'll do if this sprite.get uh, scale dot x is greater than 0 0.f then we will do all this stuff right here so there you go okay and then we'll animate it so this will basically just flip it once if we need to flip it okay and before i keep moving what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a uh, a few functions here void update animations update animation um const float dt pretty sure we can do that and then we're going to do void update attack okay we're just going to define these two as soon as it lets me um i'm going to define that and hopefully it does it and then we're going to define this as well uh, and then just go here and look at our functions. So now we have our two new functions. Update attack and update animation. And this will help us a little bit to... Um, so I'm going to put update attack here. This update attack. Okay, this will help us kind of uh, divide everything up. And this is all going to be animation. So this update animation dt. Since we have so many animations, it's a good thing to uh, to put it all in here. So we can kind of work with this a little separately from the update itself. As long as this is in the correct order, we're good to go. Uh, so what we're going to do, this is pretty much good. In here, we need to see before we start the animation... We need to see which way the character is facing, okay? So we're going to get the scale here. Or should we do... Boom, boom, boom. Let's just do this. Sprite.getScale.x If it is greater than 0.f. So if we're facing to the right... Else, if we're facing to the other side, uh, animate and check for 
animation end. This is the uh, set origin depending on facing or direction, I guess, something like that, whatever. So if we're facing, if it's greater than zero, we're going to be facing left. Otherwise, we're facing right. Okay. So when we're facing left, I want to make sure I'll use this. So if it's less than zero, let's see if it's, uh, we want to set it to set the origin to zero, zero, I think. Um, but zero, zero will be wrong. We need to set it to 96 point F, which is half of 192. So 192 is the width, remember, but this sprite attack sprite is double the width. So we need to take, we just kind of move it one sprite to the right. I think I'm pretty sure it's going to be something like this. Just put 96 here and then put whatever this was in here plus 96. Okay, so we're just going to do that and we're going to run this and we're going to see if it actually does anything. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, and this is when attacking. Otherwise, we want to set it back as well. And then we're going to use the same thing here. Okay, that is actually in. That is in as well. Okay, but we got to set it back uh, after this. So I'm just going to copy paste these in here. After attacking false, I'm just going to say if the scale is if we're facing left or facing right, uh, I'm going to put it to 0.f and I'm going to put this to 258.f. And now we're going to run this again. And hopefully we'll have correctly facing attacks. Okay, so I don't know why that just jittered there. It did jitter for some dumb reason. I'm not sure why, but it's not jittering now. Okay, so that is kind of working, I guess, right? It's kind of working. Um, so that's cool. For this sprite sheet, that's fine. We're going to have another sprite sheet where we might not have to do all this crap. Super uh, uh, min-maxing everything, uh, I guess. So you, you'll, have to, uh, you'll have to wait for that sprite, I guess, because I haven't made that sprite yet, uh, that sprite sheet. So we'll see. But at least we have our animations working. And we're fine. I also want to say in the last video, if you had any issues with removing the const from uh, the animation component is done. Pretty sure it was is done. Yeah, if you had any issue, just make sure you remove it from both the H and the CPP file. Because this pointer here that we get, you can't have a const in the function because you might change it since this pointer isn't a const itself. So just remember that it could be a, it could be a little problem. So there you go, guys and girls. Pretty much that animation stuff is done for now. What we're going to do is I'm going to open a solution explorer. And I'm going to create a new little folder area here. Um, excuse me. Here we go. OK, add, please add new filter. And I'm going to call it tile. And this is going to be all the tiles and stuff that we're going to have in here. And I'm going to add a new class and I'm going to call it tile. Um, no base class, virtual destructor. Go ahead and create this tile class. And before we end, I'm going to actually define, make sure we can start working with the tile class because a tile map is going to contain of tiles. And we're going to have a bunch of different tile classes here, which we can also put it in here where it should be. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of different tile classes or types and all that stuff. And then we can create a big uh, tile map out of that. And we'll make a tile map function or a tile map class as well. Tile map. I'm sorry. I'm too tired. I can't really speak. Um, so that's cool. All right. We're going to go ahead and define this with if and def thingies. Tile h. Animation component h and if. Once that's done, you're pretty much good to go. Private. Um, probably this is going to be a protected. I love using protected. Uh, probably this is going to be a um, base class. A, uh, a, what do you call it again? Why am I forgetting all my stuff? 
a abstract class probably and we're going to make different tiles out of this abstract class just like entity is right and we can add different tile uh, things to this tile component or this tile basically uh, different types of maybe damage elements and and animations and whatever the hell you want to do we can do pretty much so here you go guys and girls pretty much done i think we're good with this video so just check so everything works for the player um and you shouldn't have any problems and there you go you got a, a nice animating character that you can play around with and uh, we're gonna get into all the tiles and collision and stuff soon i've been doing a lot of gameplay stuff so that feels good i guess uh it isn't really bugging out it just bugs out the first time you attack i don't know why pretty much i'll, I'll check that out but there you go now you can attack you can click and you can get a nice little animation going right so there you go there you go boom thank you so much for watching sorry for being slow i'm tired uh but yeah hopefully in the next video we'll get going with some editor stuff maybe some gui stuff we'll do something fun i'm sure okay and i'll try to figure out a sprite sheet for us try to create one so that we can use properly thank you again take care check out the description box all that stuff drop a like subscribe if you like the content so i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye